legs. They are? Yep. You gotta be very still though, because I don't want to mess it up. What's up guys? This is a quick update. I know it's been a while. Um, my Oblivion Ram or uh, dropping eggs again. Uh, see the male's kind of doing his thing right now. They've been cleaning the rock for uh, at least an hour or more. And uh, she finally started just dropping eggs. I'm not sure how much they like me filming them. Um, but, uh, thought I'd at least, you know, shoot a few minutes of this. I find it pretty interesting myself. Being the last time they did this, they, uh, they did it when the lights were off. I didn't even know it had happened until, uh, I was cleaning the tank, you know, the next day. Luckily, I got a decent cleaning on this tank, uh, this weekend, so. I won't have to mess with this corner for a while. But, they're just making their passes. And, uh, hopefully this time I can get a breeder net and, uh, try to preserve more of them. But anyway guys, this video might be kind of lengthy, but um, just kind of gives you an idea on what to expect if you do have Bolivian Ram. Um, as you can tell the female there, the smaller one, you can tell her vent is, uh, is just, it looks like a big tube. Um, I noticed that when I got home from work a few hours ago. And, uh, the male's been just super bright orange for the last three or four days. And the female just started turning real orange yesterday, and I noticed she was definitely carrying eggs. Um, they dug a huge hole on the other side of this rock. I'm um, kind of not wanting to move too much, but as they make their passes there. But you can see this giant hole that they made on the other side there. I have no idea what that's for. But, uh, they had two rocks here. They had this rock here on the left and that rock, and they chose that one. I saw them digging the hole, so, uh, I put that rock down there. Thinking and they would do that, and, well, they did. Yeah. But, uh, like I said, I haven't done much for updates on this tank lately because it's kind of a mess. Um, I'm slowly pulling the Rotala back to the left side of the tank, and I'm giving all this Lewigia plenty of room to grow. Um, with the new T5HOs, everything seems to be taking off pretty good. I've also got a bunch of this uh, Lewigia Cuba. Um, I got it and it was all immersed growth, so I'm going through the process of uh, getting it to go to submerged growth, I guess is the word for it. Submerged, whatever. But um, you can actually see it transforming there, going from the big broad leaves to the smaller leaves that are starting to pop out. Um, I'm looking forward to that stuff in the future for sure. But, uh,. But anyway, ha, this is kind of exciting to actually catch this. I've been watching them for hours. Last night, tonight. I expected last night, you know, they were going to do it, and then I'd wake up in the morning and see the eggs, but it looks like it's tonight. I don't know how long this process goes, but, but anyway, that's what's going on here, and uh, I'll show you a quick update on the tank. Try not to really bother these guys since they're being so nice to do this right in the corner of the tank where I can sit and stare at them all night. Uh, but anyway, that's what the tank's looking like right now. Uh, like I said, it's kind of a mess. Uh, the dwarf sag, I got in the front. I'm just kind of, uh, I'm in a process right now of, uh, of rescaping, but I want this Cuba to take off really good before I, uh, before I start, you know, moving it 
move it around, do my final moving on the uh, the right and the center of the tank and figure out where I'm going to put everything. But uh, that's what it looks like right now. And uh, thanks for watching the video, guys. Bye.